Hey, so it's a little rainy outside, got some downtime, figured I would uh, take this moment to show everyone what it looks like uh, behind the scenes before we roll out to install the instant greenhouse at your place. Uh, so this is just kind of our material assembly uh, because ultimately there is more than one day's worth of work to be had. Uh, but we prep it up here so that when we show up to your place, it just goes up in a day and we're out of there. All right, one of the first things we do is make sure we've got all the pipes correct. So we bundle them into about nine or so because that just makes them easiest to move. And then we make sure we've got the right number for how big of a greenhouse you want. So depending on your four or five foot spacing, and just how long it is overall. We've got one in that's swaged, you know, pinched at that end there. And then the other one is not. At least uh, this is for the classic Quonset style. So it's just one long curved piece. And the ribs themselves are made up of three of these. Here we go, we've got a good roll of greenhouse plastic. This one itself is from Geingar. I also use OVG or Oregon Valley greenhouses as well as farm plastic supply just depending on price availability and their various features like UV resistance, anti-condensation, just kind of depending on what you're looking for and who's got the best deal at the time. Here we go, just batch together our wiggle wire and wiggle channel, wiggle wild, wiggle wire channels. Uh, just makes it easier to work with and so that we know we've got all the right pieces when we get out in the field. So this is a big part of how things go smoothly and instantly outside is that we, uh, you know, all the work's done here first. So this is an important part. After bundling rebar, or well, first cutting rebar down to size and then bundling into manageable sections of weight. So we've got a dozen here. Uh, that's about as many as anybody wants to carry comfortably and safely. Uh, we make a measurement. Take it out to 18 inches. We got it right there, right? One more time. Cha -cha -da. There you go. Now we have an 18 inch line so that when we get in the field, we know that we're pounding these rebar stakes in until they're about this much exposed. Next batch of rebar, I'll do off camera so that it's smoother. And then I'll show you what else is happening. All right, so this is the last step. We put all the various pieces that you need into this box here. So, a pack plus however many tech screws you need. Uh, enough side curtains for uh, keeping the plastic lifted if you want. These are pieces to hold on, the, tighten the purlin strap to the stake. This is all the, uh, this is the, the fabric purlin, pur, purlin strap. Um, there's a whole giant spool of all the webbing that we will use to hold the plastic tight. Um, we do it by using these things. So we put the rebar through this, we hook the, um, the rope through this, and the plastic is in between the two. So the plastic is tied to this, it's tied to the ground. Um, that's one of the last things we do. Count out, make sure you have all the pieces you need or all that we need to assemble it for you. We make some of the pre-assembly so that it goes quicker on site, you know, putting these two pieces together. Um, for something else. Um, the, this is for some wind bracing. This is another piece of length of pipes. Different kind of pipe, it's lighter material than the other stuff. And um, these ends are pinched flat. They have holes through them that we put the bolts through. That, um, that wind bracing is for this door here. This piece that we do order out for, because um, we can't, you know, just make this door. It's one of the pieces that we order out for. Uh, but it, you know, piece of plastic, comes with a little bit of wiggle wire, has the grommets. Um, inside there are zippers, and you'll see more of this on the assembly day. Because, let me tell you, I'm excited for assembly day. It's this Sunday and I'm looking forward to showing you all how that goes. It's gonna be a great example. Um, I'm excited for it, for one, because I'm always excited for this stuff. Uh, I like helping people grow more food where they live. 
That's always been the goal, and so this is one of the things that really helps that. And then another thing is that this install is kind of a good example of showing a few different pieces. It's a larger version of the Quonset style, and it has two different door types. It has the kind of gather and bunch door type that's cheaper, and then on one of the ends we've got this, uh, you know, this pre-install or prefabricated zipper door. It's nicer, it takes up less space, and it costs more money. So that's just kind of the choice you get to make. This client chose to do one of each, uh, a cheap one on the far side that wasn't gonna be used very much, and then a kind of nicer version on the close side. But yeah, uh, that's that. Thanks for joining me on this behind the scenes tour of you know, materials, assembly, and prep so that uh, we can deliver you an instant greenhouse in one day. See you around.